Sup guys, it's Groovy Domino's 52 and it has been exactly 5 years since the first Roblox NPCs are becoming smart video came out on May 26, 2016. That is 5 years worth of comments asking what the game is or how I made it. And also 5 years worth of comments calling it fake. People saying that I just made the NPC and scripted it myself, which is the point actually. Or saying that I scripted it as in a planned event and I knew what was going to happen. Reasonable? Some people also say that the NPC was actually a player and was my friend posing as an NPC because people can't see. And some say that it's impossible to make a fake bubble chat or something. What? There's also some who say it's just edited. Okay. Now I don't want to burst your bubble, even though I will right now. And most people already know what's going on, especially devs, but one of those are actually correct. The video was a planned scripted event to look like I was talking to an NPC with a sentient mind. But I'm actually talking to myself from the past. Basically, it's like recording yourself talking to an imaginary friend, if you have any. Then playing the recording and talking to yourself in that video. Here we are again. There. Here we are again. Ah, ah, ah. Hey guys, it's Groovy Dominoes. And it's Johnny the interviewer. Hey guys, it's Groovy Dominoes. And it's Johnny the interviewer. Kind of confusing, but yeah, that's basically it. I could just end the video right here. But for the people who want to see the technical part, the people who want to code and make their own NPCs are becoming smart thingy, you can stay. So yeah, this is the boring part for most people so you guys can leave or skip to the end because I make epic outro songs, please appreciate. So I've actually made a template for making NPCs are becoming smart uh, sequences. So the RBXL file download will be in the description and of of course, the download link is safe. I don't think RBXL files can even destroy your PC. But anyways, to open the template, make sure you have Roblox Studio downloaded. And the PC of course, because Roblox Studio is not supported on mobile. Okay, so first of all, we have the NPC and the gun. And now let's go to the Explorer. Make sure your Explorer and properties are on. And go to the NPC and go to the important folder of the NPC. If you touch anything else other than the important folder, then stuff could break if you don't know what you're doing. So in the important folder, we have three types of chats, unconditional, conditional, and any. So let's start with unconditional. So unconditional basically means that the code will run without you needing to say or do anything. It will just start whenever you press play or join okay now for the code there's actually already instructions here written in green but i know some people are still gonna somehow break it because a lot of people don't know how to read especially the descriptions of my videos so the first thing you'll see is the properties and the first thing we have is the npc over here so this is basically the directory of what NPC we will use in the game. But if you just downloaded the RBXL file, you don't really need to touch this. Honestly, just learn the basics of Lua first to understand this better. And we have here CC which stands for chat color and it's set to red as the default for all of the NPC videos I made. But you can change it to blue, green or white if you choose white it will look like a normal player chat bubble so you can make fake players if you want to do that and last we have in the properties is the wait time which is how many seconds it takes for the npc to reply to your message so these are the basic properties of the npc and this properties tab will actually be in all three types of scripts that you can use but next off in the script is the guts which you shouldn't touch unless you know what you're doing. Then last we have chat and move, which is the actions that you want the NPC to do. So we have here while true do and end at the end of the script. This basically means that this whole sequence will repeat forever. But if you don't want it to repeat, 
you could just remove while true do and end <laughs> but anyways the actions itself we have here chat so you can change the text over here to whatever you like and also don't remove the quotation or else your script will break and next we have here is wait time which is uh in each of these sequences and i don't recommend removing this especially if you have while true do because your game is gonna crash probably so leave it leave the wait time over here <laughs> so th this line basically uh calls for wait time which is over here it's set to two seconds but if you don't want all of these to be two seconds you could change it individually by changing wait time to whatever seconds you like so i'll just change it to wait one in parentheses all of these two three four and next we have here after chat is jump which you can add if you want the npc to jump at a specific sequence very epic and next we have move which you can add if you want the npc to move to a specific spot in this case walk point w number one and another move script over here but with walk point number two so if we test the game it should be like this so let's wait for this game to load all right so the game loaded and as you can see well the script is working but it kind of already started and I didn't even see what happened first. So what you need to do is go back to the script and before anything else I recommend adding a wait. So I'll put 15 seconds before the actual sequences start. So let's test it out again. And as you can see the script isn't starting yet. You have to wait like 15 seconds. And there you go. The script is running. He also did a really cool dance over there. And it's working. Now, if you want to change where the NPC should move, you can see here in the script, it says move walk point number one, right? So go in walk points. It's in the NPC, in the explorer. And then go to whatever number it says. In this case, number one. And then let's actually switch to the game view and then press F to view the walk point. And you can see the walk point is over here. So if you want to move it at the top, you can click move. And now you'll have these uh, arrows, which you can move the walk point to wherever you want to. So in this case, I'm gonna put it like right over here. Yeah, that's good. And if we run the game, the NPC will go to walk point one and then back to wherever walk point two was set according to the script. So let's see this in action. As you can see, it moves to the new walk point number one and back to over here because walk point number two is actually set over here, as you can see. So in walk points, there's actually 10 walk points over here. And if you want to add more walk points, just duplicate any of these so let me see let's duplicate three and then there's gonna be two number threes over here so you can just change one of them to like 11 and now you have added a new walk point which is very epic and of course you have to uh, change the numbers over here so yeah if you want to use all the walk points you can basically just copy and paste move over here and then change the number so that's basically the basics of this script and what unconditional chat does. If you're using this type of chat, this one's not the best one to pick for making the NPC videos and games. Unless you just want to sit there and watch the NPC. I've actually used this type of script in my NPCs are becoming smart 1 and 2 where you actually have to time your messages and follow the script that you have made. It's not very easy to time right. But it's really up to you to choose this type. But for the others, the next two types of chat should be good for you if you don't want to time it. So next off, we have conditional chat, 
This means that you have to say a specific message first before the NPC says or does anything. It's basically the opposite of unconditional chat where you don't have to do anything. So first of all, to change the type of chat, make sure you have your properties on in the view tab. And now click on unconditional chat. Then in the properties tab, which is below here for me, check disabled. And then in conditional chat, uncheck disabled. And you can see if the script is disabled, it will actually be grayed out. So let's check out conditional chat. Now in properties, we have the same thing except we have a new line over here which is player chat. So you can change the text in this to whatever you should say before the NPC does anything. And in this case, I made it who. And again, here's the guts of the code which you shouldn't touch. And here's the actual actions of the NPC. It's basically the same thing. If you want another unconditional chat message, just duplicate conditional chat and then change like properties and stuff. Uh, I know that's a really inefficient scripting method, but hey, I don't really script or make games. I'm a musician. And besides, I've only started learning Lua a few weeks ago. But if it works, then it works. Don't worry though, if I have the time, I'll try to make it so that it will only be in one script and it's efficient. But anyways, here's a example of conditional chat working. So you can see here the NPC doesn't do anything unless I say the word who in my chat. So let's test it out. Let me say hi. And as you can see, this NPC doesn't do anything. But if I type in the chat who or anything that contains who like whom or ho or who made this game then the NPC will reply and do whatever action I put in the script I, I kind of misspelled game here but that's fine as long as the message has who so yeah he said made by groovy dominoes 52 thanks NPC anyways that's the conditional chat this one's the best one for making games. This one was actually used in the I'm Sorry My Bro ending by Tango Mango and the full NPC game which is being worked on right now. Last but not least, we have here any chat, which means that you can say anything in chat and the NPC script will run. All the script is doing is checking if you chatted, then the NPC will do its Dang. So let's check the script right here. So as you can see, this line is what checks if the player chatted. So if I chat anything at all, NPC is gonna say Groovy Domino's 52 is epic. And then when I chat again, it's gonna say ASD is epic and jump. And then when I chat again, it's gonna say Gaming Kitty Cat is epic and then move to walk point number one and so on. So let's uh, test that out. All right, so here's the NPC not doing anything let me type anything in chat like uh, random words and as you can see it says groovy dominoes 52 is epic and then let me chat anything again smash my keyboard and he says asd is epic and jumps so yeah it, it pretty much goes and goes as planned and if and then if it's done then it's done the script uh doesn't work anymore <laughs> so yeah this type of chat is the best for making quick video clips and not releasing the game because obviously it wouldn't go as planned if a random person plays it. But if you want, you can combine these three types of chat into one with your creativity and most importantly logic so that it's not chaotic and it doesn't break. Oh yeah, the RBXL template has an R6 script to force R6 in so you can remove that if you want to be R15 or R throw. Uh, yeah. Anyways, so that's it for this video. I finally revealed the magician's code after all these years, even though a lot of you could already tell the NPC isn't actually smart. Really, the closest thing we have in Roblox is in the video I made called NPCs were already smart. But if you have a lot of time in your hands, you could probably make the smartest NPC in Roblox if you make like many instances of these chats. I don't have that many time in my hands, so I'm not gonna be that person. I'm sorry, guys. 
But yeah, that's the tutorial. If you want, you can make your own NPCs are becoming smart videos or games. Then you can send it to me so that I can review them and showcase them in a future video because that would be epic. But yeah, that's all I have to say. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.